Hey everyone, how are y'all doing today? I hope that you guys are doing good. Um, I'm trying to make sure that I am literally recording here. Um, I thought I pressed, okay, I thought I pressed the wrong button. So, let's see, there we go. All right, where to begin? I don't know. So I'm gonna begin with hello everyone. Hello subscribers, hello viewers, just hello, hello, hello. Um, let me get into it. I got too much stuff here today to share with y'all. Um, let me, let me get myself together. I guess you're like, well, you should have got yourself together before you started filming. <laughs> I know, right? But we're going to pour me some drinky drinky and then we're going to get ready to go. All right. That in there. So you guys know I keep a little water pitcher thing in my room. Just convenience. So... It is Sunday, and I'm just wondering how you all are doing. I'm hanging in there. Gary is hanging in there. We are all hanging in there. Gappy, too. <laughs> she has doctor's appointments this week. Um, Gary is supposed to be setting an appointment with a urologist. Fingers crossed, hands praying, <laughs> praying hands, you know so that we can um, find out what's going on with Gary's health. Because I, I never really did like give y'all another update because everything kind of just stopped. Um, because he just needs to see a urologist so that we can go and dive into deeper about what's going on with him. Um, he is supposed to retire in a year and he wants us to move to the state of Delaware. Do you know that in the state of Maryland, if you retire, that the state of Maryland will tax your retirement? Can you believe that? Maryland is a money hungry state and it's, they overtax their people so much. I would not recommend anyone that is um, in their older years, their golden years, to retire or move to Maryland, you know. Um, Delaware is a good state to retire. Gary's been doing a lot of research and he's, he's really at this point where it's time to make a change. We've been here since 2006 and you know the the condo living it it's not working um for what we want you know because our needs our desires have changed as we you know we all change when we get older and um there's going to probably be overtaxing on condo fees um to keep up with inflation and you know, we're heading in that direction where condo fees are going to be um, unreasonable, you know, and it's like there's no future here, you know what I mean? And now is the time to start looking for options, you know. As you all know, right now is not a good time to buy a house you know the market is bad and it's it's not good as a buyer or a seller but now is the time to start preparing and start getting ideas of what you want to do because you know he he gets he retires next may may of 2025 so there's no sense in putting footing around he wants to get things moving and we have friends that live in delaware we've had family members who moved to delaware and and you know so you know, I'm leaving it in in Gary's hands. <laughs> I'm leaving it in God's hands who's using Gary, right? And it's like, I'm just like thinking, here we go again. Here we go again. You know, looking for a new place to live. 
like wow I thought we were gonna literally literally just stay here um, and that this was gonna be it but we need to be closer to the water and I'm not talking about the bay I'm talking about the ocean you know I would like to if I if not oceanfront property maybe just living 30 20 45 minutes away from the actual ocean would be great you know um i mean we we don't live that far from the bay you know where you know yeah we can go to the bay and there's a beach at the there you know but as you all know bay water and <laughs> ocean water is two different things Ocean water is loud and it's got waves and it's roaring all the time. And it's 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 different. It's it's so much different. And um so I think that it is time for a change. I mean, I know that it's time for a change and that's scary to me. I you know, it's very scary to me what God has planned for the rest of our lives and how much time do we have left you know um am i even going to live to see next year you know so i am totally leaving everything in god's hands because i don't have the time to be worrying and the funny thing guys is if i don't worry about it consciously i'll go to sleep and i'll dream about it so <laughs> It'll haunt me, right? <laughs> so it's like, um, I can say all I want. I'm leaving it in God's hands and God's going to use Gary to, 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 you know, lead us where we need to go. And then I'll just go to sleep and it, it'll, it all comes out in the wash, right? You know, that's all comes out in the wash, all comes out in my dreams, you know, and it's, it's just crazy. It is just absolutely crazy. And these past four days I have been sleeping excessively I mean hear me I want to share this I've been sleeping excessively and the only time I sleep like that is when something's wrong with my body you know and it's it's like I'm asleep when Gary goes to work and I'm asleep when Gary comes home from work you know and he has to wake me up because I, there's things that I need to do and I need to take care of you know and it's like I get up, I wake up, I do what I have to do, and I go right back to sleep. And then he comes home from work, he calls me, wakes me up, I get up, I do what I have to do, and then I go right back to sleep. And the great thing about it is I'm not eating much of anything. I've lost my appetite again. I uh, wish I had a lost it before I put on a few pounds. <laughs> You know, then I could have just like stayed in the right direction. So I don't know what's going on with me. Um, I know that I'm extremely heat sensitive. So when it's been like really hot and humid, if I go outside or if I open my window or I spent some time outside, it will make me nauseous. And that nausea will stay with me all day. That's just, it's something that I have to deal with, something that I have to live with. So I have to make sure that when it's hot, when it's muggy, when it's humid, real humid out, I don't go outside. You know, um, if I do have to go outside, it, I'm going to go outside at nighttime. Um, I'm waiting for my, my prescription to come in from Walgreens because I have to have um, an additional um, bl blood pressure medicine increase. And for some reason, I've never had to wait so long for a prescription. When I would go with Walgreens, guys, I'm like, they, they have my prescriptions ready right on, right same day. And my prescription was called in Thursday of last week. And here we are. Well, yeah, Thursday of this week. And here it is Sunday. And my prescription is still in the process. So I'm figuring they must ha didn't have it on stock and they had to order it. Um... You know, so it's like, that's scary to me when you, when you, when they can't get your medication, you know, shortages in medication and just, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot. It, it's a lot. Um, it's scary <laughs> getting old. It doesn't mean I'm scared. It just means it's, it itself is scary. Um, pardon the nails guys. I bought some new nails 
and I'm just trying them out. They're a little bit too long. I need to cut them down. Um, uh, but as you guys can see, my nail is grown. My nails are growing under it, and I just got to change this one and this one. This is the only two I got to replace. And I, but I was just so tired, and I was just so sleepy, and I just never got around to doing it. So I'm hoping that today I will get these, pop these two nails off, and put these nails on. But I put the polish on. It is, um, you know, that two tone. Temp temperature color you guys have seen me in previous videos um, with this but yeah but check out my old videos um I have everything in a created playlist I actually went today and looked through those playlists to make sure that they were all in order and that there was no videos in there that weren't supposed to and of course there was there was some videos that weren't even supposed to be in certain playlists and how they got there I have no idea so I cleaned that up <coughs> I never did finish though I gotta check the rest of my playlist and see that everything is the way that it's supposed to be so that's what is going on with me um, Gappy's doing fine we're all hanging in there and I know that it's summer, so you guys may not be watching my videos as much because you guys are out there enjoying yourselves, and I am happy for you. So go do that. But anyhow, today, in, as you saw in the um, thumbnail, I have a big package from Planners Anonymous items. Some came from eBay and some actually came from Planners Anonymous. So I'm going to jump into that and share that with you. Um, I am on my bed and I put this brown cover on to protect my pretty cover. So here it is. This is a huge Planners Anonymous box. I love the cherry blossoms this goes this is actually the box that you would have gotten if you purchased the um melody the cherry blossom melody this was the box that it came in and they sent it to me and i was like awesome i will never trash this i will never trash this box so we got a lot to get into um I may not even be able to get into everything in this video, but let me open this up. And on the side, I'll do this from the side. So, as you can see, this is the box with all the stuff in it. I put the Happy Planner stuff in there. Let me get that up. Alright, so... So, and this is the inside of the box. And as you guys can see, this is a thick, thick, deep box. So let me just set it aside and just quickly just share with you what I, I went back to Ollie's and I just got happy illustrations again. You guys have seen this. Um, I just, I just y'all I'm gonna be honest I just wanted to waste money I guess that's the best way to say it I just wanted to waste money because I did not need this at all but I went ahead and I can use it I plan to use it I love these I absolutely love these these are gonna go in storage and I could I say storage but you know I'm hoarding them <laughs> all right let's see this one also came from Ollie's and this is wellness and I don't know if I purchased this one before I'm pretty sure that I did um, so we'll just do a quick flip through of that yeah I did purchase this um, I can't believe they still have these sticker books at Ollie's but they did not get any new ones it's still what's left um i heard a lot of people say last month that they went to dollar tree and there was happy planner um sticker books at dollar tree i did not see any at um 
my two closest Dollar Trees, but I didn't really pursue it. It was no big deal. Um, now, this actually came from Happy Planner. Isn't that cute? I love those gilded, like, daisies or whatever. So, as you all know, Happy Planner did have a big sale. And I just, I just took advantage of it. <laughs> and I got this. This is called Heal From Within. And it's just a real thin thing. And like I told you guys in the previous video, I would get this again. Simply Lovely. I bought two of these. So this is totally, total in total, three. I bought three of these. I love this. I'm not going to lie. Um, I love everything pretty much in, in here. Um, I love the scallop um, checklist, but I just use them as washi tape. Um, I love all of this. This is like one of my favorite um, uh, floral books that they have because I love the color combinations. I love the dusty rose. Um, they could actually have had more. I mean, look at that. It's just that's just gorgeous. I love the pre-made overlay boxes um this is just really cute i like it so i bought two of them and i plan to also get another bambi and i really like those and i like that so yeah and of course this <laughs> i'm gonna pull this book apart and pick out everything that i absolutely love and I'm going to put it in my in my sticker storage. Um, Y'all, I'm telling you, I got two. I got even though everything's de-stashed um, and everything's you know like super organized and all that, and I'm good to go. I just don't think I'm going to live long enough to even use all of the stickers, you know. So I have to like take a breath, chill out, and just flip through my own sticker books and just look at what I've collected as storage as you know what I've hoarded and just savor it you know what I mean because I don't even know if I'll be able to use it all but anyway it's a hobby it's therapy it's it really it's it's therapy um those of you who are addicted to this know what I'm talking about and long as we keep it in its proper place we'll be fine all right, now these are some oops pens that I got from Villa Beautiful. I think her name is Tiffany. So she gave me this card. Pamela, thank you for your purchase. We hope this package brightens your day and you enjoy your new VB goodies. Your support means the world to us. So there it is, Villa Beautiful. And you guys, I love this. This, are, this is like a just journal card. Um, but you guys have, have seen me use these pens before, but these are the oops. So I don't know where the oops is. I would assume there should be rose gold trim around here and it's not. But it's still a writable pen and I refill it with paper mate ink because I like the 1.3 and the 1.6 I like bold ballpoint ink I'm I can't use this kind of ink like if you are a person that journals and you write really neat and you write really small then yeah um I'm trying to get this off okay so fine print is good for you because you write small but for someone who writes big and bubbly like it's not so bad I mean that's not so bad is it but if you're a person that would write like this and that's that's not very neat to me but
I don't know why I put an S on there. I'm just writing words. You know, if you just can't, if it's easy for you to write really small like that, this is really great ink for you. But this is, um, I'm not gonna lie, for even though it's thin ink, um, it's smooth. You know, it's not, you know, cheap ink. But um, I'm gonna I'm not gonna keep that ink in there. And then here is another one, and this one is glossy, and this one also doesn't have black trim, and I suppose that it should. So these were cheap. These were like eight dollars, and here's another one. So I'm thinking that it probably was supposed to have because it looks like the print is right I mean I don't see where they oops it except that there's no trim there and that's what I think this this is so but that's what I got these three oopsies I liked the pink I like the mauve and I like the blue and she gave me this little sticker to go with it these are so adorable I absolutely love it absolutely absolutely love it love 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 it okay so let's set that aside and she also gives you three refills so that's cool so check her out now here is some stickers from planners anonymous but this came from ebay and so we have this kit here um, and this is called Planners Anonymous by Peony. Okay, so this is the Peony um, kit. And these were the stickers that the young lady um, had no use for. She was destashing. Let's say beauty's what. I don't I should have my glasses on but beauty is what happened beauty is what happens when you give yourself passion I don't know what that permission to love you okay permission to love you so these are sweet I just love the color scheme I really do and that is so cute isn't it just great when someone just destashes and puts it all on eBay. I love it. So these are pretty. I don't know why she didn't want these, but I love it. Love these stickers. I love that whimsical lined look. So she saved me those. And here's some more to that kit. So what are you guys watching on TV? What TV series are you diving into or binge watching? Um, so there's that. I Oh, I can't wait to use these. Absolutely cannot wait to use these. Um, I have been watching Your Honor, which is really good. It is a crime drama. And I usually don't get too wrapped up in crime dramas, but Brian Cranston is a good actor and things that he's in is always good. So I checked it out and I really liked it. So this is gorgeous. And I assume that this is also part of the Peony box uh, kit. So I'm assuming that that's what all of that is. And there's Sammy. It doesn't look like Sammy right there though, but that's definitely her. But and so this came with it. And let's see here. So we have another one. And let's check this out. Cute. So we have another sticker um, sticker sheets. Love these. Absolutely love it. 
So this seems to me like this may all be from the peony. If I'm even saying that right. This uh, peony kit. Because they all have the same type of flowers. So this is it cute. If you guys, you, if you get a chance, head on over to Planners Anonymous. And the more you buy, the less... The, the you know it goes down in price well not go down in price but like say your first purchase you have to pay up to a hundred dollars or ninety seven dollars to get free shipping you come back the next day or the next week and it's fifty dollars for shipping it's fifty dollars and then free shipping come back the next day or the next week and it's forty dollars so that's that's incentive right there okay so here is the washi so you have that and then I don't know if this goes with the kit but this is the washi that um, this is cute I definitely can use that so I don't know I mean this is a lot of washi so let me see I can put it up there this is cute I don't think this is from that this kit this likes different it's a little different but I I can see this being a part of that kit that's cute and this is this we we definitely know if you're a planners anonymous fan or you're familiar with them and it, this was like a book lovers, the book lover kit or bookworm. And this is, okay, so this is just take note, important. Okay, so that's cute. Now, this young lady that I bought these from may have other stuff in here. This may not just all be planners anonymous. Okay, we got a little wine. See, okay, so we got this. This is all cute. Look at that. And then we have this. Now, let's see what else we got going on in here. Oh, a little little girl. And here's some more washi. Y'all, I might end up donating some. Oh, I, there, that definitely will go with it. I can see them two being a part of that. So, yeah, this girl that sold this stuff, she was de-stashing. No, no doubt about it, she was de-stashing. This is a lot of washi. So, here's some more. And there's some more that's pretty I like that but yeah guys I really have not been feeling good I've been really really sleeping like a crazy person I have had this this happy mail for the past three days and it's just been on my bed so that's interesting but that's really pretty Oh, let's see. Now, this is scotch tape, so she got scotch washi tape. So, yeah, this is definitely a mixture of different places. And then this is the last of the washi. It looks, this, this washi here I know came from AliExpress. So, we got a good, good mixture of stuff here. All right, now bear with me as I put all of this back into this box because this box is going to be my box that I put things in that need to be sorted and put away <laughs> or maybe I'll I'll use it for projects, you know, I have you know, to do projects and just toss everything in this box instead of using that um, clear box or just store it all in, in here with the clear box. I don't know. But 
I'm definitely going to continue to use this Planners Anonymous book, uh, box, excuse me. Yeah. And as you can see in the inside of the box, it says PA, ah, let me see, there it says PA, and on the side of the box, it says Planners Anonymous. So it's a big box, and it has a lot of writing on it. It's very nice. All right, so we are at 30 minutes, so I'm going to have to make this really quick. This also came from Planners Anonymous, the, the actual site. This did not come from eBay. And this is another nice box. Look at this. And check this out. So this is a nice box. This is this is a very lovely gift box. Love it. Absolutely love it. And here is the meat. This here lovely gift bag is voila. This is the A5 cover of the beach coastal escapes and it was on sale and I just I just took advantage of it um, I told you all that I was gonna do it because I did not want to use the um, what do you call it you guys remember when I said it? I can't remember but I just all of my Traveler's Notebooks are Planner Perfect. And you guys remember there's that one that I bought that I really didn't want and I put a whole bunch of florals and tried to make it a junk journal cover. You guys remember, um, it's it's not the one that's real soft, that's Adele. It's this, it was the other one that was hard. It wasn't, it didn't have a good feel to it. And I told y'all I was gonna use it for something else. So I did, I put that in the bathroom and just put a cover on cover from the one that I currently use in the bathroom. Problem solved, voila, nothing's gone to waste. So I took this off of it and I'm gonna just put that, hang that on there. Why don't we, well I was gonna say, why don't we do it together, but I don't wanna have this video split. So I'm just gonna put all of the stuff that I had in the other one in this one that's all I'm just gonna put it all in here and I was running my mouth in the beginning of the video so I shouldn't have been <laughs> then I we could have put this together put this together together but this is what it looks like it's a beautiful a5 and you've got a pocket here and you know how this expands so and you've got your strings and space for rings so that's it guys hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one